Welcome back to Runaway Roses. Today we're going to give you guys an update on our fall camping trip and answer a question that everybody has been wanting to know. That's right. Why we change from a truck camper to a travel trailer? Stick around. Happy holidays everyone! With fall in the air, it's exciting to think the holidays are just around the corner. And as we all know, some people are just hard to buy for. But at E-Trailer, they've got you covered. They know that finding the right gift for somebody can really make their day. But that's the tricky part. That's why E-Trailer's done the heavy lifting for you. They've handpicked their favorite products to make your holiday shopping easier. These aren't just any gifts. They're recommendations from their own team of experts who know trailers towing and outdoor gear like the back of their hands. Forget hunting for the perfect present or second guessing your choices. With E-Trailer's 12 days of deals, They'll not just deliver discounts, but solutions to your gift giving headaches, because who needs more stress during the holidays? So go to eTrailer to find the perfect gift and skip the hassle. Let's make this season merry, simple, and maybe even a little fun. So use the eTrailer link below, and a big special thanks to eTrailer for sponsoring this video. Unfortunately, our fall camping trip did not go as planned this year. We typically go in the fall with friends and due to the storms in North Carolina, it, we had to, to cancel it. That's right, we had plans to go to Cherokee, North Carolina, so we went ahead and postponed those. We'll go back another time. We've been there a bunch. And uh, yeah. so we just kind of got away uh, for a quick couple nights. Uh, not what we had planned, but hey, at least we we're getting out and camping and enjoying some of the leaves changing and that sort of thing. So. And it turned out well because this area is, it's funny, it's LJ and, and jokingly, you know, I say the apple capital of the world. I think that's what it's actually called. <laughs> yeah, they have a big sign near downtown Yeah, that says that. So yeah, LJ, Georgia, it's kind of at the... Uh, foothills of the mountains as you as you go uh, you, you can go a little further north into blue ridge and that sort of thing from if you go north from here people but, typically come here for the apple festival which is in october and then the leaves changing which goes into the fall festival which is in late october so it's a really great time of year to come here and it's only an hour away from our house and we're actually trying out a new campground this time called diamond lure and uh turned out to be pretty nice we've enjoyed yeah. it it's hard to find spots these days, as most people know, and we were actually able to find a spot here. We can't make reservations online, which I think is kind of worked in our favor because Todd called and they were able to get us a spot pretty fast. Yeah, so that worked out nice. And when we got here, they have a nice big uh, lake and uh, some some docks, and you know they got plenty of uh, just nice grounds. You know, dog park and you know a dog. Uh, area even to, for dogs to get in the lake and that sort of thing and this is a nice little lake pond large pond small lake first time here at this campground actually very pretty it's well maintained this is the middle of October it's actually very warm out for the middle of October Thought we were going to do a little fall camping and cool weather, but it's actually summer camping. It's almost more like summer camping. It's very convenient to get to many, many fun things to do around here. There's tons of hiking trails, which we didn't do this time. There's actually some hiking trails in the campground. There's downtown LJ, which we went there yesterday and had um, lunch. And so the last piece of pizza. Can I have a piece? <laughs> Barbecue pork pizza Good. with pickles. Sweet pickles. Just walked around to all the little shops. Yeah, it's a neat then, town. Yeah, it really is. Really and then town. there's also a cidery just uh, down the road from the campground, so it's very close. It was pretty cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, uh, apple orchards around as well, and they all have some stores where you can go in and buy apples or apple cider apple pies apple which we pies. sort of indulged on because we've we've had three in two days <laughs> <laughs> what you got there some apple pie apple pie i got blackberry, blackberry. pie yeah we found this store with 15 or 11 flavors of pies yeah it's a bunch of them. peach and strawberry and a bunch of others. all kinds of stuff so we went a little overboard <laughs> on that but uh, we did have fun downtown LJ. It's just a small little town, but it's super busy this time of year. That was pretty packed, and 
stopped and ate uh, some pizza at a pizza place and did some shopping and some antique stores and stuff and mm -hmm. didn't buy anything but uh, I just had enjoyed the day walking around and came back to the campground it's been a quick couple of nights but uh, we just really enjoyed the day yesterday and camping rubs belly rubs <laughs> Oh, Tyler, you're so funny. Like having a topper and a bed rug in the back of the truck. Sure is nice for putting stuff in the back and getting it in and out to go camping. Just gonna put it in there and it stays right in its place. It's comfortable to kneel in and out. We got to hang out by the fire last night and use our new to us solar stove. All right, getting the fire ready. Getting ready to cook. Gonna let the flames burn down a little bit more. And then we'll throw some more pellets on there to cook over. And Taylor's gonna watch. This is my birthday present. The grill. Yeah, the grill. Not the solar stove, the grill part of it. Yeah. So I can cook on the, gr on the solar stove. Along with the grill that Todd gave me. So that was pretty cool. And we, we grilled hot dogs. I'm, I'm sure I need to streamline that a little bit more because it was super hot, and I think I may have a little overcooked the, the dogs. What? It said Taylor wants a hot dog. Yeah, it's a cool little grill that it put over the solo stove, and that it actually worked really well. Yeah. Uh, I did recently buy the heat deflector that you put on top, and it, and it pushes the heat out. Uh, if anybody's ever used a solo stove, you kind of know a lot of the heat goes straight up, so put the deflector on it, pushes it out. We did not use that last night, but we did use it before we left, hanging out with our neighbors, and that thing works really good. It works so, great. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of pricey for what it is, but worked great as far as getting the, spreading the heat out, sitting around it. But um, So yeah, we just kind of enjoyed the day, hanging around, checking out the campsite, went on you know some walks around here. And Took Taylor for a walk and yeah, a stroll. Yeah, Taylor got to go strolling, and it is a gravel, road throughout the uh, campground and all the sites are gravel as well but it's very well maintained around here at diamond lure and uh, i'm sure we'll come back this is a full uh hookup site that we're on it was 45 dollars a night so pretty good i mean for, for, for the price you get full hookups i mean not to me that's normally full hookups are 50 or more i feel like so. and it was kind of last minute you know too when we, when we booked it so um hey so that's pretty much our uh fall weekend camp trip got to get out and see some uh leaves and that sort of thing we may try to get out again here in, in a few weeks but uh just enjoying the camper love the camper enjoying our new countertops if anybody yeah. saw the uh video i did on that me replacing all the counter tabletop and countertops if you haven't go back and check that out but uh now for to answer the big question of why we changed uh, from our truck camper to a travel trailer. Yeah, so we've had multiple people comment on some of our videos and on Facebook, why did you change? Um, I guess the biggest reason is the convenience. Yeah, it's just easier to uh, connect and disconnect the travel trailer than, than it is to load and unload a truck camper. Easier than a truck camper. <laughs> <laughs> for us, it's not the case for everybody, but for us, we would take our truck camper on and off regularly uh, off the truck, uh, you know, in, in our garage and we're stored at home so that we could use the, use the truck or we just leave it on the truck and just leave it the truck in the garage, but then we can't use the truck for anything until we take the camper off the truck. So, uh, you know, we could, talk about you know the pros and cons of you know truck campers and travel trailers there's pros and cons for both of them you know but we just decided um actually we've been talking about it for a while and yeah and what i guess what it sort of stems from is back in may and i can't remember if i've mentioned this in a video but um taylor got bit by something when we were camping and how at the rally we got to in Hiawassee. and not to go into a big long story but we didn't realize she had been bit till the next morning, and we think it was a snake, which could have been detrimental. I mean, she could have probably died from that. But when I realized it, we had to very quickly make a decision as to what we were going to do. 
And I kind of panicked because I was like, well, what are we going to do? We either have to take the truck off, the, the camper off the truck and, you know, we'll put everything away, take the camper off the truck or put everything away and take the whole rig with us and yeah, to the we're, vet emergency vet yeah the emergency vet to take her so, very quickly yeah to the vet. she was all swollen up her mouth was all swollen up we didn't know what had happened so carla was really stressed out and it was kind of a stressful situation when you're in an emergency which we felt it was at the time because she looked really bad that morning and uh so we needed to get her to a vet asap and, and that that got me thinking about even like even more things like what would I do if something happened to Todd? And then here I am with the, all this. And, you know, while I feel like I could figure it all out, I can't figure it all out in like a short period of time that it would take for me to like figure out what to do with him and then figure out what to do with the camper and all that. I'm sure I could have figured it out. But. but when you're in a stressful situation, you're under stress and you have to deal with something that just compounds, you know, everything about it, even about the emergency. So, um, you know, unfortunately that worked out. We were able to, we ended yeah. up yeah, taking fine. the camper off the truck. We took her to the vet and, you know, we just had to take the time to do it and, and everything is fine. It worked out, but it did get us thinking about that sort of situation. And, you know, with a travel trailer, uh, when you pull up, you disconnect, you unload, you have your vehicle ready to go for the rest of your, your stay there. You can go, you know, do what you, whatever you want to do to go into town and do whatever you want to do. And, uh, it's just so much easier to uh you know just show up touch your camper up and then and then you know go do what you want to do like i just said and you know go shopping or go to dinner and stuff like that and if we had to quickly go you like go to the doctor or something we could do that because we're not hooked up we don't have to worry about all that yeah you know? yeah and carla could just take the truck if something if there was an emergency she could just the truck would be right there ready to go and she could do what she had to do so yeah. that was something you know that kind of was a little bit you know it kind of turn the turn the light bulb on you know a little bit more of course we, we we've known all that but and you know then, dealing with it was a little different and then so that got me thinking about it and very shortly after that um a bigfoot popped up online yeah we we knew that if we were going to change and get a travel trailer we wanted to get a 25 foot Bigfoot camper. We've known that for years because we've talked about it for years. And you guys have seen it as we've probably posted many videos of tours of Bigfoot. Yeah. yeah. So that wasn't really a big surprise, but uh, and we weren't exactly looking to get this uh, right when we did, but like Carla said, that this camper popped up online for sale and uh, for a really good price, and it was only like three hours away so it what it wasn't exactly what we were looking for honestly we were looking for a queen bed model a rear queen and this one was a twin and if you've seen one of our other videos we converted it to a king bed for now and it works for us yeah i mean having the king beds really nice as it's been working great yeah and you know if we want to change it back to a twin bed they're both right there i would wouldn't we could put it back in one afternoon so, you know pretty easy so not really a big deal and didn't really change that much other than take the the nightstand out of the middle other than that just put some boards across it and a mattress on top so yeah. didn't change much and uh we've been loving the camper so far yes. and we you know will we ever get another truck camper eh, maybe uh probably not anytime soon i can tell you that or maybe you know <laughs> a, a pop-up or a lighter weight one something like that and um so and Todd, I'm sure we'll put it in the video, but this weekend we're camping right close to a Sears truck camper. Yeah, right there. <laughs> and it kind of reiterated our thoughts about like loading and unloading and all that because we watched them and they did a great job, but. So we just watched a couple put their truck, on, their truck camp, camper on their truck and it took them 22 minutes. Do you miss that? <laughs> no, I don't miss that. They're actually right there, put it on. Took them at least 22 minutes, maybe a little bit more uh, with the raising the camper and all that, but I don't miss it. Not yet. Yeah, we're... Maybe, maybe one day we'll get another one, but right now I don't miss loading and unloading a truck camper. Yeah. It's like the time you have to take to get it precisely in the center, and Todd's very, it was a stickler about that. Yeah. And so just watching them do that, and they did they did a good job, like I said. Yeah, they, they took it off the truck yesterday. They showed up, took it off. They used the truck for whatever they wanted to do. I uh, went in town or whatever they Which did. They were we gone. Did. 
And then this morning they, you know, spent the time to load it all back up because I guess they're going to be probably leaving today or something. I don't know. But, you know, that's a lot of, it's a lot more effort and work to load and, and unload the truck camper just to go into town or run to the store or something like that, um, you know, than it is with a travel trailer. You can hook the trailer up pretty darn quick. So, um, so that's pretty much, you know, that's. The, the main reasons why we changed, you know, there's other small things, you know, things we love about the truck camper and things we love about the travel trailer. So, so driving a truck camper, you can just get qu real quickly. You can drive around and, you know, parking lots and uh, park at McDonald's or Wendy's or something yeah. like that and very quickly go in. You don't have to worry about trying to find a long spot for, you know, a truck and, yeah. and travel trailer. Yeah, I mean, actually the actual travel portion of, of the trip, you know, going down the road, I think a uh, truck camper setup is superior to pulling a trailer. Uh, you know, it's just like driving your truck. You can do U-turn where you want, and park where you want, like Carla said. So, I mean, I do kind of miss that. You know, it's a little bit more stressful pulling a trailer, especially uh, on the interstate with, you know, tractor trailers going by and there's more wind and that sort of thing. But it's a, it's a different thing. Even with the truck camper, you can get kind of top heavy and feel the wind. If you got a big setup, uh, you know, a trailer, you might feel the, the wind uh, from a, a big truck going by on the trailer. So it's just different. It's, I don't know if it's really one's better than the other. It's just different what you get yeah. used to. But over overall, I think it's a little bit easier to travel with a truck camper. But it's more work to load and unload and, and deal with all of that to line it up just perfect and you know that that whole hassle part of it but. so for us at this point in our life we're going to have a bigfoot travel trailer and you know may, we may or may not in the future and maybe have a, a pop-up truck camper Who Man, knows? you know on the side as well as, on the side as well yeah, not, not, in, a, not, not in place of in place of so that's about it yeah. appreciate you hanging around watching if you got any other questions please leave them below and we'll try to answer those and uh, please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time on Run All Your Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.